Hey everybody, in this video we're going to have a look at the UC Berkeley EE uh, CS department challenge. So to get started we'll read the, um, the outline. Uh, locate the specific host, tape 1, 2 or 3. Uh, then locate the specific entry in the tape. Uh, create a new file containing the entries data. Okay, so we need to extract the data based on this tape number and the name. Okay, so tape number refers to the host these boxes, so we're going to first have to have to grab that data and find the right room or host, I should say. So we'll grab 300. And we'll copy from the file to our X register. And then we'll link into uh, the main room here. So we're now sitting in this room here. Uh, that file's not important. So now what we're going to do is basically jump around until we find the right tape. So in order to do that, because of these room names have the same links and the file is exactly the same name, and we're looking for a particular host name, we can just jump into the room, check the host name, and if it's not the host name, call the exact same routine and just loop around it until we find the tape that we're interested in. So we're going to write a, uh, a branch for this called change room. Not make, <laughs> mark. And then we will link twice, basically to hop there and there, uh, or maybe there to there. Uh, I guess the game decides which way you go. And then we're going to call host t, which copies the host value into a test variable. Then we can test the test variable against our uh, x register, which will have the host that we uh, read in from the file earlier on. And basically, if the host is not the one that we found. I'm just going to call change room again. And that will land us in the correct room. Test to make sure that's correct. Yep. It was fast, but we landed in the correct room and it halted. <laughs> cool. So, next, what we're going to have to do is work out how to use these tape drives. Um, so, to start with, actually, we are going to need another. Um, XR, so we'll stick it here and XB is going to create a new file. Um, and at some point it's going to loop through and uh, append the data, but for now we're just going to leave it empty. So, next step is to start copying data from the tape drive. So, let's copy from the file X. Which file are we holding? Oh, sorry, we're still holding file 300. Yeah, cool, okay. So now we have this word here. Um, we need to understand how tape drives work, but uh, if you read the documents uh, that came with the game, basically it explains that this is our key. So we find where in the file that exists, which is here. Now the next value, or the next two values are important. So the next value here is the offset. So 55 is how many values down before we start reading data. And then 18 is the number of values we should read. So we're going to go 55 in, and then 18 values is what we're going to write out to a new file. So we should see that we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, so there's 18 values there. Uh, and 55 values in, we should start to see this data. So probably around, around here. Yeah, 4, 9, 7. Yep, cool. So this data block here is what we're interested in. So first what we're going to have to do is loop through and find this word and then copy out these two values. So let's do that now. Um, we actually don't need the file anymore either because we've got the name. I'm going to grab the tape drive. I'm going to make or mark a new subroutine. I'm going to call it seeker. Basically we're just going to seek through until we find the value that's important to us. So we're going to test F versus L, X register. Um, and if it's false, we're just going to jump back up and rerun it. However, if it's, tr if it's true, we're going to copy uh, from the file to just to temporary, just to test variable for now because we can write to it. And we're also going to copy. Hmm, interesting problem. Actually, no, that's fine. We'll copy it into 
global for now. Yeah, so that's going to basically mark how many data entries we need. Actually, this will work perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to get XB to read a certain number of data entries that we present out of XA. Uh, so that way we don't need to keep track of uh, the number anymore here. We can um, entirely handle it in XB and we can limit how many times XB is able to read from the tape drive because by the end of this we need to leave no trace so both of these robots need to know when the end of the tape is happening and now that XB knows it's 18 we can handle that make more, sen more sense in a sec so we're going to copy from M to X so now XB knows how many data how many pieces of data it needs for its file so we're going to mark a new loop I'm going to copy from M to the file and basically just subtract 1 until x is equal to 0 and halt when that's done. So this will handle all the logic of writing out to the file. So xb is pretty much done now. So let's go back up to xa. Um, what now, what now? Cool, so we've copied from the file to M. What other data do we need in this file? Let's have a look at how the file is laid out that we need to return. Ah, uh, yes, right. Let's just run through this to see what happens. pretty fast but copy F to M and F to T uh, wait hold on I also need to store a copy in my local variable so we'll copy F to X as well because I need to know how many I need to pass to it so then we'll also copy uh, X to M so this will handle storing the 18 value the number of pieces of data we need to copy um, and also sending it. Cool. Now let's go back to the start of the file. So we're going to seek uh, right back to the start. And then we can actually, actually, that's useful. So since we know how many positions in we need to go, we can just do seek t, and that will seek uh, 55 spaces or whatever it was. Uh, yep, 55 spaces in. Uh, so we're now at the position where we can start reading data, which is super useful. So let's mark a new loop up here. And let's start feeding that data off to XB. So copy F to M. Um, then we're going to sub. And we're going to test to make sure we are at zero. And if we're not at zero, we'll loop. And then halt. And I think that might be everything. Let's give it a shot. Cool, so we should go to the end of the file. We should read that and then pass these two variables. Yeah, yep, it's going really quick, but that has worked. So I'll see if I can catch it this time. <coughs> okay. So we have 38 stored in temp. That's how many positions down we need to go on our block. And we should send 16 across to XB. And XB now knows how many it needs to read out to the file. Um, so then we seek uh, 38 spots down and we begin to read this data out over the communication line and this data starts to fill up and we can see x is decrementing so once it hits zero xb will shut down and the file will be saved and that's this challenge done i think it's quite a difficult one but uh, it's also quite a fun one um, learn, learns a little, little, little bit more about communication uh, so i will see you in the next one